It's the 1st of August 2008 and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the AstroTrack TT320X to capture the solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse, that's going on right now as we speak. I've got a Manfrotto 055 Pro B tripod, a Manfrotto 410 geared head, and I've got my AstroTrack TT320X which has a Manfrotto adapter plate on the back. Simply snap it in, lock it onto the 410 geared head. I've got eight times AA batteries in a convenient holder. I just plug this into the back of the outer track. Now, for solar tracking mode, you need to hold down the brightness button, which is this top button, whilst powering up. So I'll hold that down, and you should hear it beat three times. Okay, that's all I need to do. It's in solar tracking mode. We're in the northern hemisphere, so I unstow the astro track this way, beep, it's ready to go. Simply wind out the first inch to stabilise and initialise the astro track for tracking. It'll then beep and stop, and we're ready to track at solar rate. Beep, it's ready, press track, it's tracking at solar rate. I've got ball head, a nice beefy ball head, which has a 3 8 threaded hole in the bottom. That simply screws onto the extra track, like that. Next, I've got my Canon 40D, a 400mm f5.6 lens and a 2x teleconverter, and I've got a 1000 Oaks optical um, filter on the end, it's a 2 inch one, it's just a white light filter. So that just clips in onto the ball head. I need to do a quick daytime alignment. I've got a compass here and I've already put the magnetic variation in. So I simply hold that up to the Astro track, keeping it away from the camera which has a fair bit of metal in it, and I can make an adjustment to the tripod until I'm pointing north, which is about there. I've already dialed the latitude in on the polar alignment head. I can make adjustments with this knob here to adjust the latitude. So we're at about 50 degrees. And now I'm ready to shoot. So all I need to do is line up the camera. I can just eyeball along the barrel. It's 40D and I'm in live view, so I can already see the sun on the back. sun in the right place, I simply lock off the ball head and we're ready to go. I've got a Canon TC80N3 timer. I'm not using it in timing mode, I'm simply using it as a remote shutter release by pressing the grey button. So I'll just loop that up out there, out of the way. Looks like the sun's just gone behind a cloud, so we'll wait for the sun to come back and then hopefully we can see an image on the back of the camera.